Alright, so today I am going to attempt to open up this Knight Rider Lumina uh, 700 Lumen flashlight and I'm going to reconnect two severed wires which is the reason why the batteries were not charging on this light. So I'm gonna show you what I did so far. Here, take a look. Let me grab the camera. So, so far, I removed these three screws, and which is one, two, and three right here. And so, with that, with those three removed, the outer casing simply slides out like this and here's all the waterproof grommets made of rubber and so basically I already stripped the cable that was the two cables that were severed let me see if I can pick it up on the camera here so basically and trying to let it focus so basically this wire here this red wire and this black wire were both severed somehow while riding my bike I guess from all the bumpy rides that I did so this lith lithium ion battery was no longer being charged when I would plug it in so I bought a soldering kit here simple soldering kit starter kit uh, this is a 20 watt soldering kit as well as it comes with solder here 60 40 solder 60 percent tin 40 percent lead and I also got some insulated wrapping wire 30 gauge and I'm gonna attempt to reconnect these wires. I did take Tech 1 and Tech 2 in high school so I know a little bit about soldering and breadboards and resistors and things like that things of that nature um, so yeah let's get to it basically under this under this port here Sorry, it's so dark on the camera. Under this port here, there is a, a soldered piece right there. And that is where the black wire was connected. And I, I exposed it there by peeling off the black insulation tape. Which I'll just later... I will just later um, use black electrical tape to fix it up. So what I'm doing right now, I'm waiting for the soldering iron to actually heat up right here. I have it plugged in and I turn the on switch on right here on this toggle switch. And I already wet my sponge to test if the soldering iron is hot. Um, this is the solder right here, 60-40 solder as well as extra tips right here a flathead tip as well as a mini pointed tip sorry if that's not catching up catching on the camera too well and also I have this insulated wrapping wire which I'm gonna open up I got all this on sale at Radio Shack because they're currently going going out of business here in Hawaii after many years of being in business I'm actually kind of sad to see them go I was always a fan of Radio Shack kind of sad to see them leaving but here is what it looks like really really thin 
30 gauge wire right there. Okay, just like a strand of horse hair, basically. So what I'm using to strip this really thin piece of wire is just a shaving razor, razor blade to strip some of this really really thin wire right here, really thin wire and I am gonna try to solder that all back together. This piece actually snapped off the main the main uh, soldered flange so I'm gonna try to solder that back together okay so so far I have soldered back together the red wires here right there the red wires right there and I need to solder back on the black wire here back over to the black wire here and this black wire also to the main port the main hub right there as well which I this is the part that totally broke off from the main hub and I soldered that on already the main piece and so this needs to connect to there and this piece needs to connect to there as well so that's the that is the master plan let's do this go in focus there okay Lumina 700 Knight Rider front light repair okay so there we have it uh, soldering complete so connected the two severed red wires here here and here and connected the double severed black wire from here to the main port and back to its original destination where it came from here to here and also this secondary black wire connected back to the main black wire port here so everything is all connected there it is there you have it homemade soldering now I'm gonna uh, charge it up and see how it goes this is for the Lumina 700 uh, handlebar mount Headlight, USB rechargeable, lithium ion, and soldering iron by Radio Shack, 20 watt starter kit. The end. Well, I have to charge it and then do a review, and then it will really be the end or not. Why won't this focus? Damn it. There. So. That's what it looks like on the inside of Illumina. Okay guys, here we go. So, so far so good. I did plug it in right here through the, the USB port, micro USB, and the red charging indicator light did come on. So, so far so good. Of course, after I check if everything works, I'm going to use electrical tape to cover up all the exposed metal wire so that the red and black never touch each other, which you should always secure your exposed wires. Um, I didn't buy heat shrink tubing, so I'm just going to use electrical tape. Okay, stay tuned for hopefully a bright 700 Lumina soon okay so I've charged it for uh, about an hour and a half not fully charged but um, charged it enough to test it so 
I'm gonna press the on button here, right here. Turns on, okay. There we go. There we go. Turns on. And there's the brighter. Even brighter. Uh, conservation mode. And then strobe. There you have it. Okay, so works again. It lives. So if you had a problem with your Lumina 650 or Lumina 700 Night Rider light, um, I suggest you open it up using a two millimeter Allen head key and see if your wires are severed. Um, a dead giveaway that your wires might be severed like mine like mines were is you get a lot of shaking on the inside uh, the, the battery will be shaking around a lot so that's kind of a dead giveaway that your wires are split especially if you ride on a lot of bumpy roads it could it could sever your wires so now now that I know everything's okay, I'm going to use my Super 33 electric tape to tape up the leads where the, the solder is, the exposed wire. And to prevent any shorts, I'm going to use my Super 33 Scotch electric tape. There you have it. Uh, please like comment and subscribe down below if uh, this video helped you with repairing your Lumina 700 white flashlight headlight